Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to calculate the maximum number of units of a currency pair that you can potentially trade with based off of your available margin. And this is on, of course, the Awanda Desktop Forex trading platform. So Awanda Desktop is actually quite useful and has a bunch of different resources for traders to utilize. If you go into the top left-hand corner and you click on the resources tab, You'll notice there is a ton of different available resources here readily available for you to use things such as news, economic calendars, forums, different spread statistics, order books, long and short ratios. And then we have things such as account calculators. And as you can see here, there are a ton of different calculators here. Now, one in particular that stood out to us is the units calculator. We will be covering some of the other calculators in our other videos, but we felt that the units calculator was a good place to start with. So like I mentioned right in the beginning of the, the video, the units calculator is used for traders that are looking to calculate the maximum number of units of a currency pair that they would like to trade based off of their available margin. So to get some more information about this, we can actually just left click on the units calculator and in your primary internet browser, it should open up a window. I have two monitors, so this actually opened up in my other monitor. Let's bring this to the right here and make it full screen. And Oanda actually gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to actually use this tool. So as you can see, first you'll choose your primary account currency. So for us, we'll be using the US dollar. You have all the major exchanges or the currencies here, so choose as you will if your account currency is something other than the US dollar, which is the default. Then you'll want to select your currency pair. So let's pick a popular one. We'll do the euro versus US dollar, which is the default here. Now we'll need a price. So to do this, I would just suggest heading back over to the platform looking at the current price of the euro versus us dollar you can check your little order book here so we can see our exact price so let's say 1.1293 pretty close we can manually enter or adjust as needed when you do open this up for the first time it will automatically take that current available price and automatically input it into our calculator here for us now down below your margin ratio, you can, if you are unfamiliar about this, you can click this link right here. This will give you some more information about margin and margin calls. This should have been set up by you and your broker when you first set up your account. So this is going to differentiate between trader to trader, but this is something you should probably know. If you're unfamiliar with it, you can contact your broker on this. But for now, we'll just stick to the 25 to 1. Now here, we select our margin available. Let's say, for example, we have $500. And of course, it is in USD. If we calculate it, you can see right there, we have the maximum number of units at 11,068. So again, this may not be entirely accurate here um, for my personal circumstance. I only do have a demo account um, in which I'm using Oanda Desktop. So this isn't with real money or anything. I'm just doing purely hypothetical calculations. And again, these are all hypothetical values. So don't take anything um, here with, just take it with a grain of salt. As you can see, depending on the margin ratio you select, your number of units will go up and down accordingly. And every time you do select something different, it will automatically calculate for you. We can change it up a bit. We can do one to one. Let's say we only have $100 of margin available and click calculate. As you can see, we get the maximum number of units to 88 there. If you are interested in how this works, we, we do get the formula down here below. So the calculation uses the following formula. It is the margin available times the margin ratio. And then we have the base divided by the home currency multiplied by the exchange rate. And you can all see that laid out for you here down below. So again, if you're interested in how this actually works, we can take all the mathematical calculations and look at them using the units available calculator, the currency pair units calculator. And again, you can find that through your resources, account cal calculators, and we'll go down to units calculators. 
Again, we just wanted to show you this and focus on this calculator for this specific video. If you're interested in some of the other ones, let us know and we'll give you a brief rundown of those. If not, again, they're all readily available for you in the resources and account calculator section. Feel free to check them out there. That wraps it up for this video. If you've learned something new in today's video and you might have found this helpful, if you weren't familiar with this feature before, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more informative content on Awanda Desktop. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can leave them down in the comment section below or you can let us know on our community forum that's posted in the description as well. Once again, thanks for watching.